Hello guys, welcome to the solution tutorial, the center where we discuss topics in chemistry and mathematics. Today we are dealing with organic chemistry. We will be discussing the topic that says the aromatic compound and benzene. And I'm very sure if you can follow me up, you actually understand every concept under these topics. So today I start with both aromatic compound and benzene. Now, what is aromatic compound? What is benzene? Benzene is a subdivision of what aromatic compound so we are going to discuss about aromatic compound aromatic compound are compound in a ring this ring these are compound what in a close ring they are called aromatic compound but my state my statement is not well defined about this word aromatic compound so aromatic compounds this word aromatic was gotten was derived from the word aromas, that means that the compound that has an odor, that would be called aromatic compound. But how can we detect which compound are aromatic and which compound are not aromatic? There are some cyclic, um, there are some, there are some closing compound which are aromatic, and there are some which are not aromatic. Now we can determine that by making the word called Alkis rule. Alkis wood, which is 4n plus 2 pi electron. electrons. Electrons. Yeah, this n is what? N is what? Number of rings. Now, this Alkis use rules, which is to determine if a compound is aromatic or non aromatic. Look at this compound wherever we have a bond, a bond, and a bond. This is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six member ring. This N is what? Number of electron. This number of what? Number of ring. This compound has only one ring. 4 times 1, which is 4. 4 plus 2, which is 6. Which is having what? 6 pi electrons using what? Alkis rule. Now, we can also determine the what? Pi electrons make use of what? Make use of what? Of the structure. And the pi electrons are the what? Are the double bond electron. I, I, you are aware of that these bonds are made of what two electrons. So let's count the what five electrons one, two, three, four, five, six, which are the double bond. We are, so we have six electrons making the both of the structure and six electrons making the both of this aqueous group. If the number of the electron, the five electron from the structure and the aqueous is equal, is, equal, is, is equal, therefore that compound is both aromatic compound. Now this compound, the, when, we count, when, when we count the number of pi electrons in the structure, the value is the same as what? The value we got from, what, from the Alkis root, therefore it's what? Aromatic compound. Now let's look at this. Let me move this bond. Let me add this. Now I'm making the about Alkis root. N is what? Number of, number of ring. And this is what? One ring. So let's get the pi electron making the about of the Alkis root. 4 times 1, which is what? 4 plus 2, which is what? 6 pi electron. From the all keys root. Now let's get the pi electron from the what? From the structure. We are having what? 1, 2, 3, 4. Which is what? 4. 4 electron, 6 electron from all keys root, which is what? Which is not equal. Therefore, that compound is called what? Non aromatic. Non aromatic. So, this compound is what? Non aromatic because it does not obey. Alkis rule. Aromatic compound are compound that obeys Alkis rule. Now let's check some structure, some other structure. Let's try this structure which is called naphthalin. Naphthalin. This is the structure of naphthalin. Now, from the Alkis rule, this is what having two rings. So 4 times 2, 8, 8 plus 2, which is what 10. Therefore, it's what 10. It has 10 electrons using what? All keys root. From the structure, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That is what 10 pi electrons from the structure. And the value is the, 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 the value are equal. Therefore, it is what this naphthalene is what is an aromatic compound. Let's turn that compound is called what anthracene. Anthracene. 
mono sulfate benzoyl what aniso which are this compound the benzene ring and what OCH3 this is called what aniso we have alanine which is what the benzene ring and what and NH2 is what aniline we have what they call toluene these are names of both monosulfated benzene ring so that's what with a melting ring this is toluene we also have benzaldehyde benzaldehyde aldehyde which has the structure of a benzene ring when that's what to an aldehyde functional group which is like this we also have benzoic acid benzoic acid having this function the benzene ring connects what to carboxylic functional group we have silene the benzene ring connects what to do two different melting group to two different melting group ch3 and what and ch3 it can the state it can be this this can be this particular position can be that particular position but the main point is that what this there must be what two melting group attached what to benzene that was that would be called silene we also have styrene a thin group attached to what attached to benzene this is what this is what we call styrene and so on and so forth so these are names of what monosubstituted benzene benzene so let's talk about the, what, the reaction of benzene now let's talk about the, what the reaction of benzene but before we the reaction of benzene i want to specify i want to what cl clarify some things which is called we have what we call the feline and benzene these two are totally different. Now the structure of benzene is ferrine is this. Are you with me? Now if I have been, this one is having one hydrogen. Having one hydrogen. Having one hydrogen. Having one, 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 one hydrogen. But this one is what? Left it what? Left it one hydrogen to become benzene. That was called ferrine. Are you with me? This, there's hydrogen here. There's hydrogen here. There's hydrogen here. Hydrogen here. Hydrogen here. But it has lost one ls one hydrogen this compound is called what feline but for benzene this is benzene c h h your h your h your h your h your h are you with me now this feline it has lost one hydrogen and this benzene is a case by what melted attached water to the benzene ring and that CH3 it has lost one hydrogen that, that I would call benzene. So this benzene structure, this what this benzene, this benzene structure. This is the difference between what feline and benzene. Now let's about what the benzene, the action of benzene. Ration, benzene and I go what electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Why did benzene undergo what electrophilic um, substitution, aromatic substitution reaction? Why? Because this benzene does not want any reaction that wants to damage the structure. This structure that is closed ring. It doesn't want, want any, it doesn't want any catalyst or any reaction or any product that going to damage this what damage this structure. That's why benzene undergo substitution reaction. I talk about what electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. That means that what? The compound coming into into what into the benzene is what is an electrophile. So this is what electrophilic electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Now we have five common electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. We have the first one we have what halogenation. We have the sulfonation. So for nation, we have the nitration, we have the 
Fidel Alculation. Fidel Fidel Craft Alculation. I also have the Fidel Craft Craft Alculation. These are the five common EASR. Now, before I start discussing this each e e this reaction, I'm going to give it what the general mechanism of electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Now let's talk about the mechanism of what electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Now an electrophile is going to what to be so it's going to go to react to port with a, with a benzene and it's going to form this. Electrophile what? An electron poor group or atom. So this um, benzene is what? Is a nucleophile. Ben, the any end of one is what? Nucleophile. That what? They electron rich. So this benzene, this pi electron is going to what? Attract this electrophile which is going to form this compound. It's going to form a carbocation. This carbocation. One, two, your E, your H, then this carbocation. Now this is the mechanism. This bond is going to what form? This bond is going to what attract? Attract what? This electrophile. This bond is reacting this already. And if this is even this carbon, this carbon would return to plus. You know, if carbon, if electron is leaving the atom, it's turned to plus. If, if an electron is coming to a carbon, it's, it's, it's an atom, it's turned to what? Minus. It's going to have what? A negative charge. Now, after forming this, then this hydrogen will be removed from the benzene ring. How are I going to move from benzene ring? A nucleophile is going to what? React with this hydrogen, then this bond with the hydrogen will form one out on that double bond. They are going to have this structure. One, two, three, electrophile. So this is the mechanism of what electrophilic substitution reaction. The the bond the, double, the five bond is going to what form a bond with electrophile, which is going to have this, and as uh, this bond. Is what at this bond is what attracting uh, and forming a bond at this form at this bond is forming a bond for the electrophile. This carbon is going to turn to what positive, which is going to form what a carbo cation. Then a, a, a nucleophile is going to what react with this what hydrogen. Then the bond between the hydrogen and the carbon is going to form what another bond between what between the carbon, which remove this positive charge from the what from the benzene, then form going to form what. Electrophile attached to what attached to what to the benzene. So this is the main mechanism of electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Now let's discuss what halogen halogenation sulfonation. Halogenation is going to make the what adding of Br2 with a catalyst which is called what FeBr3. Halogenation is kind of what chlorine FeBr3. But for iodine, iodine is not going to use F F E I three. It's going to use what H two O two and H two S O four. And for sulfonation, it's going to make the what H two S O four and what H two S O four. Two H two S O four. For nitration, I'm going to use what H N O three and H two S O four. And for Friedel Friedel calculation. This Fidel craft calculation was given by what was derived by Charles Friedel and what and James Craft. So I'm going to make the word R C L and what the Lewis catalyst. And for Fidel oscillation, R C O C L and what the Lewis catalyst. So these are the catalysts. And the electrophile are going to add what to the what to the benzene to form this to form this what to form to to form this so now go this what reaction which is what halogenation, sulfonation, nitration, fidel craft calculation and fidel craft oscillation. Now let's take 
them one by one and discuss the word the mechanism. So as for let's start with what allogenation. Now for allogenation, the bin is going to write it what with BL2 and the catalyst of what FeBl3. I told you that for this the benzene is going to attach to what what and electrophile then the what the nucleophile is going to what move the hydrogen. Now these two is going to react to form what a nucleophile and what an electrophile. This is it. Br2 reacts with what FeBr3. Then it's going to give us it's going to give us Br plus and what FeBr4 minus. We have been nucleophile, we have been, we have been electrophile, we have been nucleophile. This the mechanism that let me show you the mechanism from here. Br plus this you can start for you can you can take any bond. We just use any bond. So this, let me use this bond. This is going to react with this. Are you with me? Then we're going to have Br and what and an hydrogen. Then the bond is leaving this carbon, which is form, which will form plus, and we're having a bond here. Then the what? The nucleophile, which is what? FeBr Br4 minus. <laughs> this is what? It's going to remove this hydrogen. Then the bond. Then it forms a bond with the ring. Then having the benzene ring connected to what B R, which form what allogenation, which is what bromine, bromo, benzene. This is what bromo benzene. So this is the mechanism. Well, we are asked to write write out the reaction. The reaction is just straightforward. This reaction with this with this catalyst is going to form B R. But we have to what show the mechanism. This is the mechanism. And how do you form the electrophile? How do you form the nucleophile? B is going to have to help you three. Form B forming BL forming B L4 and what? And F B L4 B L4 minus. Then that is how it's going to what we have. Then for the what? For the sulfonation. Now I'm not going to show you the mechanism again. Just that this is the what this is the method, but I'll be showing you. How the word electrophile and the word nucleophile are uh, is formed, and I'll be giving you the word the equation directly. So if you have been BRM H2SO4 plus what H2SO4, you be having what HSO3 plus and what H2O plus HSO3 minus. So from this reaction, these are these are what these are electrophile. And it's a nucleophile. This is going to what attract to the what to the pi bond in the what in the benzene. Then this is going to what remove the what hydrogen, which is going to form the what the form the form the what the substituted benzene, the product. Then if I ask to write the equation, the benzene is going to react with what with H2SO4. Then I'm going to have this product HSO3. Very simple. That is what. That is the product. Let me write this. S because this bond is attached what to the sulfur, not hydrogen. Now let's talk about the word the nitration. The nitration. HNO2 is going to react with what? With what H2SO4. Then it's going to form a nitro group. Then your water. Then HSO3 minus. Now, if I ask why the equation or the equation of this word of this reaction, you don't need all, you don't need all this this um yeah this equation. You don't need this equation. I will form electrophile what or nucleophile. But if I ask to write the mechanism, then you have to what you have to show this this formation and this what and this how the product was what how the product was formed. Now for this, we are having what the benzene. We are acting with what? We are acting with what? HNO2. HNO3. HNO3. And what? And um, H2SO4. Then it's going to form what? This bond. And I write what? The nitro group. That is what? That is the product. So let's talk about the what? The free free alkylation and free oxidation. Now for the feeder alkylation, 
Midwell Alkylation Midwell Clark Alkylation Now I will show you the mechanism of this So Which is formed with what? RCL And what? And The Lewis Catalyst Then going to form what? R plus and what? ALC for minus. So these are products. Then this this is how the what electrophile what nucleophile is formed. The reaction is just like this. Then reacting it what R plus. This comes like this. Then you are having this is the mechanism. You are having R and H forming a carbocation. Then this is going to react with this. Then I'm going to have minus, minus. Then I'm going to have our product, which is what? R. So this is how the field calculation, this is what mechanism. Now, for the what? For the field oscillation, field craft oscillation. So we are having RCOCL plus, plus um, our Lewis catalyst. We are having COR plus, plus, then we are having our, what, our ALCL4 minus. I don't need to show you the mechanism of this. Let's write out the equation. So we are having what? Plus. How COCL using what? The Lewis catalyst. Then you have something like this. And you have COR. COR. Now, the benzene reaction is very simple. Note that benzene undergo electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. And the reaction, I'll show you the mechanism. The benzene. It's going to react with what? With the electrophile, which is going to form what? A carbocation. And after forming a carbocation, the nucleophile or a solvent or the solvent is going to what? React with what? With the it's going to what? It react with what? With the hydrogen. Remove the hydrogen from the structure. Then the bond between the carbon and the hydrogen is going to what? Remove the positive charge. And good what is not our what our product which is our what which is our what our mechanism we have what we have the halogenation which is going to form what bromo benzene we have the nitration which is going to form what nitro nit nitro benzene we have what sulfonation we have the feeder cap calculation is going to form what this this alkyl group and what and benzene also have what the feeder cap oscillation and this feeder class was given by what by Charles Friedel and what James Kraft. So that's for what Ben that's for electro electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction of what of benzene. But benzene can also undergo addition reaction. But for benzene to undergo addition reaction, I'm going to have from what some slight some condition, some critical condition. So for benzene to undergo, undergo this addition reaction, it has some condition. Which is what the addition reaction is what addition of hydrogen, addition of what halogen, and addition of what of oxygen, which is what ozone. So let's talk about the what the addition reaction of what of benzene. Now this reaction is going to what is going to destroy, is going to what change the structure of the benzene. So it's it's what this reaction is going to what, take place at what at some at a particular condition. Now let's have the benzene. Reacting with what? Reacting with what? Hydrogen. Now, for this to react, our temperature must be what? 200 degrees Celsius. And our pressure must be what? 10 atmospheres. 10 is going to form cycloase. It's going to form cycloase. No mechanism for this. Now you want to form what? Cycloazine at this condition. Now for addition of what? Halogen. If you are having a benzene, a benzene, you are having it what? 
reacting with what? Let me say CL2 at what? At radiation of light. Or they can use HV. This means what? Heat or what? Or light. H, this symbol, this data symbol means what? Apply application of what? Application of heat. Why this one means what? Radiation of light. This heat. This light. Radiation of light. Then it's going to form what? It's going to form this compound HCl 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 H and Cl and H and Cl which is what? 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Exaclogo BM Exaclo Z which is going to form what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Exaclo, Cyclo, Z. That is what? Addition of what? Allogen. Which is what? Application of heat or what? Or light. Now for addition of oxygen, it's going to form It's going to form A thin dia. It's going to form what? A thin dia. Now, addition of oxygen is going to form what? It's going to form a thin dia. Addition of halogen using what? Apply, applying the bit, using, making the bit and what? Or light is going to form what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, hexa, chloro, cyclo, hexa. And, and for hydrogen, what is what? 200 degrees Celsius and what? 10 atmosphere forming what? Cyclo, hexa. That is what? Addition reaction of what? Of benzene. Now these terms are describing the location of substitute on the benzene. Now this also let's start with it, let's start with benzene. This also means the substitutes are on position one and two. This melter means that on position the substitute are position what? One and three. And this means they are position what? The substituent on position one and four. Now, let's say we have blue here. We have blue here. Now, if you want to name this compound, it will be what? One bromo and what? Two blue benzene. So having something having bromo and what? And blue on the what? On position one and two. So, these are writing one bromo, two blue benzene. We write what? One and two is what? Position of what? Or two, right? Or two.
Reaction, you are aware that this reaction is going to what is just I am um, the what the your alkyl group attached what attached to the benzene. And let me use the one alkyl group, let me use the word CH3. Now, for us to attach this CH3 to the benzene, this substituent on this benzene is going to have the test on what on the position of this what of this melty group. Now, the first thing that is this auto power director or melter director. I thought for, for melter director, if the atom bonded to the benzene, that is double bond, the single bond, it is what melter director. That is greater than five. For auto power director, the atom bonded to the benzene was that what? It was that what? 
I don't care of electron or it goes out the group. But for mental director, your atom bond is to do benzene, mozart double bond, mozart double bond, or what, or triple bond, or positive sign, which is what, positive charge. Are you with me? I mean, NH2, plus, is what, mental director. Now for this, this was mental director, therefore this is the same thing as to the mental position. Now this is position 1. So now it's got 2, 3, that means that it's going to be attached to what? This position, or what? 1, 2, 3, or this position. So it's got something to go something like this. 1, 2, 3, plus 6, so 1, 2, 3. This is what? Melter director. Therefore, your CH3 is attached to what? 1, 2, 3. So now what? Position 3. So that is the business of what? Auto power director and what? Melter director. And uh, uh, again, uh, auto power director, the atom bonded to the benzene was that lone pair of electrons or alkyl group. For the melter director, the atom bonded to the benzene was that double bond or two bond or what positive charge. That is, an auto power director are electron withdrawing, are electron donating, while melter director are electron withdrawing. These are what? Electron donating atoms. Donating atoms. Why these are electron withdrawing atoms? Withdrawing atoms. But there is an exception. Allergen are what? Are electron withdrawing atoms. But they are what? Also para director. Taking of that, allergen are what? Are electron withdrawing atoms. Withdrawing atoms and they are what? Auto para director. Now, other auto power director are what? Are electron donating atoms. Why, why melter director are what? Are electron withdrawing atoms. Except halogen. Halogen is an electron donating atom and it is an what? Auto para director. So that's for that. Auto means position 1 and 2. Melter means position 1 and 3. And para means position 1. And four. Now you can try this. This is the nitro attached to what attached to the benzene. Now we have to use what comes a person for that is what we call propagation. What will be your product and the name? So drop your answer on the comment box. And if you have any question, drop it on the comment box. Thank you.